everybody. Today I'm going to do uh, an update on the mealworms that I've been doing. I have been working on these for about a year. Um, they started out smaller and then the population did boom. I was selling some um, via eBay and it ended up being that I ended up not feeding them enough as the population was going and I did have some major die off and I was selling quite a few of the beetles off. So I ended up having the growth go a little slower and some of my bins actually started to come apart where the screens dislodged from the plastic. So I have to work on a different way. As I'm going through these and doing the repairs, I'm gonna end up talking about how I'm gonna adjust them and try to use different types of glue and see what works to be able to hold them together. And it ended up being something that um, made the system kind of not as efficient as possible. So I may have to rethink that. The self-sorting bin in general has been pretty good, but it, uh, it didn't sort as much because I had some of the bins fall apart so some of the beetles were going back down into the substrate some of the mealworms were coming back up through but overall I do like how the system works I have done some upgrades um, I'll go through those some of these today and over the next week or two I'm gonna try to reestablish re the bins and start to cycle them through where they're supposed to be so that I can have the grow out uh, bins be much better and be able to have the population uh, grow and keep it under check a little bit and I'm gonna put a little bit more dedication into it because it seems to be something that has worked quite well um, I just need to feed a little bit more as the population grows and um, go up from there but I'll go over how the bin is and another thing I did see I'm gonna try to get the link um, in the YouTube channel that I did see somebody started sorting these with um, the gold panning pans and they sit basically into a five gallon bucket and be able to keep that so um, look forward to watching the video see what's going on and i'll try to do an update as the population kind of reestablishes itself and keeps on growing but there is quite a few uh, mealworms that have come through with this now that i've uh, started really taking a lot better care of it again so um thank you and uh, take a look All right, now as a little bit of a repair, I'm going to scratch this up, clean it, and then hot glue gun. I did this hot glue over here it actually seemed to hold pretty good so just touching up a couple spaces see how that does if I need to do a repair on that again I hope not but maybe we will now in the bottom I have a heating pad um, so some of them did get through so I'm gonna do this into the bin sort that out and then from there um, put the bins all back together and start layering the worms um, as the population uh, begins to continues to grow
All right, guys, today's going to be a little bit of an update video. I kind of left it go for a long time, but um, I have been working on the mealworms for about a year, and um, I stopped feeding them quite as much as I were supposed to, so I'm learning a little bit of how much I need to feed with the population that's growing. And uh, I learned another trick. I will try to put a link in the notes of somebody that showed this on their homestead, of uh, the actual gold panning. Um, filters that we have. This is something I got on Amazon. It was like 49 bucks, 50 bucks. Um, it's going to really end up speeding up the sorting process. So this is going to be a little bit of a video on how this is working. My self-sorting system has been doing well, except for some of the caulk um, and the things that were holding the screens in that I did was not working. So I'm going to do a little bit of repair during this uh, you know, time that I have it all apart and reconnect all the screens and self-sorting has been working out really great um, and the system building on throughout that it is but I need to do some uh, some adjustments to that